Welcome back, everyone. We got a whole four, I think. Yeah, we do. Hold on. Did I... No, put back on the counters. Oh, yes. That's what I need. Maybe he took off his counter for steel? That's what it was. Hojo, stop right there. Oh, the failure. At least remember my name. It's Zildon. Every time I see you, it pains me that I had so little scientific sense. I saw you as a failed project, but you're the only one that succeeded as a Sephiroth clone. God, these sound effects are like way louder than the music in this game. Yeah, I'm even beginning to hate myself. None of that matters. Just stop this nonsense. Nonsense? Oh, this? Ha ha ha. Sephiroth seems to be counting on the energy. So I'm going to lend him a hand. Why? Why do that? Why wouldn't I help my son? <gasps> Quit asking me why, you moron. Hmm. Actually, you might make a good scientist. Slap me. Do it. Energy level is at 83%. It's taking too long. My son needs power and help. That's the only reason. Your son? Ha ha ha, but he doesn't know it. Ha 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 What will Sephiroth think when he finds out I'm his father? He always looks down on me. Ha ha ha. Sephiroth is your son? Ha ha ha, I offer the woman with my child to Professor Gass' Geneva Project. Geneva Project. <laughs> when Sephiroth was still in her womb, we took Genova's cells. Ha ha ha. I can't believe you're the one who did this. I bet the, their Vincent has some things to say here. Yeah. Illusionary crime against Sephiroth. He was, like, downstairs during this. Yeah. No, you're wrong. It's my desire as a scientist. Hee hee hee. I was defeated by my drive to become a scientist. I Mo lost the last time, too. I've injected Genova's cells into my own body. Hee hee hee. Here are... Hee hee hee. The results! That was a stupid idea. He's just like a Resident Evil boss. Yeah. Anyways... Man, degradation really got to him real quick, didn't it? Try that again, or... It's a pooter. <laughs> it's a pooter! Daniel. Oh, had there a he bad goes. Day. Oh, okay. Daniel Peter. Okay. Oh, that's horrifying. I think I'm gonna put Mime on Hot Cheeto. Because I think he should be able, Mime should be able to copy the four times attack.
Don't you fight that in Remake? Like right before the Rufus fight? No. It wasn't specifically Hojo, but it was a it was a Genova type. Let me test it out. Damn it. Have one more stage, please. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, good. Fuck. Now we've got a mug. That's fine. Or past the point of stealing anymore. The father. How sad for him. Okay. Anyway, we're back on the airship. Shinra's finished. Meteor's gonna fall in about. I don't know, a day? Seven more days. That's what Grandfather said. Hot Cheeto. You wanna see everyone in Cosmo Canyon again? Yes. You wanna see Marlene, right? Don't ask me that. We'll beat Sephiroth. Then, if we don't release the power of Holy in seven days. There won't be a planet left to protect. If we can't beat Sephiroth, it's as good as death for us. We'll just go a few days sooner than the rest who will die for Meteor. Don't think you're going to lose before you even fight. No. What I meant was, what are we all fighting for? I want us all to understand that. Save the planet for the future of the planet. Sure, that's all fine. But really, is that how it is? For me, this is a personal feud. I want to beat Sephiroth and settle my past. Saving the planet just happens to be part of that. I've been thinking. I think we all are fighting for ourselves. For ourselves and that someone, something, whatever it is, that's important to us. That's what we're fighting for. That's why we keep up this battle for the planet. You're right. It sounds cool saying it's to save the planet, but I was the one who blew up that Mako reactor. Looking back on it now, I can see that wasn't the right way to do things. I made a lot of friends and innocent bystanders suffer. At first, it was revenge against Shinra for attacking my town. But now, yeah, I'm fighting for Marlene. For Marlene, for Marlene's future. Yeah, I guess I want to save the planet for Marlene's sake. Go and see her. Make sure you're right and come back. All of you, get off the ship and find out your reasons for yourselves. I want you to make sure that... Make sure. Then I want you to come back. Maybe ain't none of us will come back. Meteor's gonna kill us all anyway. Let's just forget any useless struggling. I know why I'm fighting. I'm fighting to save the planet and that's that. But besides that, there's something personal too. A very personal memory that I have. What about you all? I want you to- Jesus fucking Christ, stop talking in circles, let's get going! What are you going to do, Goldon? Did you forget? I'm all alone. I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> the fucking pilot's left too! <laughs> Everyone's gone. Yeah, we don't have anywhere or anyone to go home to. You're right. If this was Mass Effect, this is where the fucking begins. <laughs> what do you mean if? Oh. <laughs> but I'm sure someday they'll come back, don't you think? Hmm, I wonder. Everyone has something irreplaceable they're holding on to, but this time, our opponent. Hmm, but that's alright. If no one comes back, as long as we're together, with you by my side, I'll never give up no matter how bad it gets. 
will not. No matter how close we are now, we were far apart before. But when we were in the live stream, surrounded by all those screams of anguish, I thought I heard your voice. You probably don't remember this, but deep in my heart I heard you calling my name, or at least I thought I did. Yeah, I heard you calling me. You were calling me back from the consciousness in the live stream. After all, I promised that if anything ever happened to you, I'd come to help. Zeldon, do you think the stars can hear us? Do you think they see how hard we're fighting for them? I don't know, but whether they can or not, we still have to do what we can and believe in ourselves. Someday, we'll find the answer. Right, Wildon? That's what I learned from you when I was in the live stream. Yes, that's right. Hey, Wildon, I, uh, there were so many things I wanted to say to you. But now that we're together like this, I don't know what to say. I guess nothing's changed at all. Funny, isn't it? Zulan, words aren't the only thing that t tell people what we're, what you're thinking. almost dawn huh sorry did I wake you it's almost dawn well dawn <laughs> well dawn <laughs> um good, good morning hold on just a little longer a little bit longer this day will never come again so let me have this moment sure this might be the last time we'll ever be together Ugh. Together. Together. That's fine. Yep. <clears throat> this moving JPEG. Yep. How do we get back on there? There's a rope somewhere. We'd better go. But I still... It'll be alright, Wildon. You said so yourself yesterday. At least we don't have to go on alone. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's go. We have time. We have time. Now to christen the airship. <laughs> Really? Right here in the truck station? <laughs> right here. This airship is too big for just the two of us. Yeah, it's a little lonely She's without She's already talking everyone. about kids. Oh, boy. <laughs> the pitter-patter of little feet. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I'll make a big enough ruckus for everyone. Besides, I'm the pilot. No more flying around casually like before. We won't have time to feel lonely. Huh? It's moving. Your kid's done fucking yet? <laughs> no. Ziddy, Jay. Uh oh, is that okay with you? I'm back. Hot Cheeto! Grandpa said you guys are great. Yeah. Why didn't you Thanks tell me? Thanks for leaving me in the fucking city of the ancients. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you know, Jay. Hey, Hot Cheeto. If you butt in now, you never know what they'll say later. Were you watching? The whole time. What's the... <laughs> Italian Senate. <laughs> 
Gutterman ketchup! You better say what you need to say before it's too late to say it. Yeah. What? <laughs> Why such a puzzled look? Don't you want me to come? <coughs> no, it's just that you're always so cool to what is happening. I thought you didn't care. Cool? Hmm. I guess that's just how I am. Sorry. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> that was cool. Well, looky here. The Shinra managers come back. Back online. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Excuse me, but, uh... I wanted to come with the main group, but I couldn't get away. So, some people in Midgar took me in. I know I have a stuffed animal body, but I'll work really hard. I guess that's everyone. <laughs> no, Witty's missing! She ain't gonna show up. At least this time she didn't steal our materia. Thank God for that. Except for the materia I already had! Haha! -ha! How could you say that? After I came this far with you, even with my air sickness? I didn't go through all that just to have you guys have the best parts all to yourselves. Welcome back, Witty. Jeez, hold on. That's so nice of you to say that. You sick or something? Whoa. Well, whatever. I'm gonna be in my reserved seat in the hall, waiting... What is going on with these transitions? They're perfect. We didn't come back for your spiky-headed ass. I came back from Arlene. Guess it's just my feelings or something. I, uh... I ain't got no words now. I swear to God, if he tears up in this moment, I'm gonna fucking cry. What? <laughs> in the remake. Oh, As you he, know he will. Oh, I know he will. <laughs> I know he will. I think I think Barrett has the most... Like, he's... he's he's They nailed it yeah, for Barrett. Absolutely. He's a big, intimidating guy with a fucking With a lot of feelings, heart. yeah. He can show so much emotion and... They have to cover his eyes with those glasses because his eyes tell everything. Yeah. Although she's not here, she left us a window of opportunity. We can't let it go like this. And it's playing Aerith's theme? That's nice. Faith plus one. She was smiling to the end. We can't just let it end with that smile. We have to do something. Let's all go to the together. God, I cannot say that word today. Memories yeah, of Faith One. <laughs> Although she should have returned to the planet by now, something stopped her and now she's stuck. We've got to let go of Faith One's memory. Faith Plus One's memory. Wow. Wow. Brother, I cannot read today. I might be having a stroke. <laughs> Has anyone here changed their mind? Bames John's having a stroke. <laughs> I'm counting on you, Jay. Yeah, yeah. These two levers have been bugging me for a while. Let me try them out. Alright, so what should I do? You decide, Zeldon. This is our last battle. Our target is the North Cave. Our enemy is Sephiroth. So let's move this? out. Uh, we're not going straight there. I'd like to get the ultimate weapon if we can. Where the fuck is he? All right, now we just have rockets. Cool. Upgrades, people. We're almost to the North Cave. We're on our way, Sephiroth. And I'm going to stick it to him. What is it, Jay? Ugh, some incredible force. Losing control. Get the hell out of here, flunkies. Didn't I tell you all to go home? Yes, sir, but this is our home. Oh, my. Stop trying to act so cool. All right, you jokers. Hold me down with everything you got. Geronimo! End of part two. Cool. That's the end of the, the second disc. Mm -hmm. Mm 
All right. So can we finally decide to just get rid of this save? Yeah. All right. Do I have to go down there? Can I leave? Cool. Oh! <laughs> Whoops! What do we gotta do? If it's a pain in the ass, I'm just gonna go and get get reds and we're just gonna continue. Oh, this is just a lot of shit in this in this cave. I think you can just find Ultima Weapon. Yeah, he should be out here somewhere, but we haven't seen him yet. Is there a specific area that he's just derping around in? I know he stays, he floats around, uh, Midgar sometime. Oh yeah, he does. You can walk up, you don't have to go around. No, you're right. I'm gonna do that every fucking time. Nanaki, it's really bad. Ever since Bugenhagen returned from that last trip, he doesn't seem well. Why don't you hurry and see Bugenhagen? So good. So good. Too good, it's copyrighted. Grandfather! Grandfather, Nanaki, you're still here? Get the fuck out. I can't leave Get you like this, Grandfather. Get the fuck out of my room, I'm dying! <laughs> right. It's the duty of Seto's son to guard this canyon and her people. Listen, Nanaki, I think you may already know. If you have any, any mission in life, it is not to defend this valley. Look at the withering mountain grass. Listen to the warble of the nude-born chocobos. Look always to the eternal flow of time, which is far greater than the span of a human life. It will teach you more than staying here in the valley. What you will see will eventually become a part of the life stream for my children and for your children. So please, Nanaki, go with Zildan and use your eyes, your ears. Ho ho ho, now now. Don't look like that. I'm alright. It's a big world and you must go out and see it. You may even find your life's mate. You never know. Grandfather. Oh yes, take this along. I think it will look good on you now. Ho oh, ho. So, when we fight Ultimate Weapon, uh -huh. we should uh, equip both of the enemy skull materials to one person. Okay. And try to make sure they get the last hit, because it casts Shadow Flare on the person that kills it. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Hot Cheeto is Bugenhagen. Grandpa told me that he's going away again. Away? It seems like he really liked that airship. He told me he couldn't stay still and just zipped out of here. He even gave me a gift, look! Wait a minute, aren't you supposed to give gifts after you come back? <laughs> Grandpa sure is strange. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we'll run into him again somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Thanks, hold on. That's not a good sign. No, he's he's doing well. 
I was wrong. Behemoth horn is for uh, him. Yeah, that's fine. So where where is he? Oh, I've got a list. He can show up in several places. Oh my god, okay. But so, he's flying around. All we know is we need both of the enemy skills, wherever oh, they are. Oh, put mime, swap mime for enemy skill. Okay, that's what you want. That way you you get to try that ability out. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We've got the swap. Because how much health does he have? Um, I can fuck around a little bit. Maybe... He's got 35,000 health. No, that's XP. 100,000 health. Okay, so I can at least try it once. <clears throat> like, I'm not afraid to just wreck his shit. I just need to make sure that we... Did that say Gungaga area? Yeah. Are we in the... Oh. <laughs> Are we in the Gungaga area? Yeah, before Cosmo Canyon is the Gungaga area. Okay. All right, so... We so... just go, like, to the right over there. There's Gungagas over that way. Gotcha. So I saw Fort Condor. I saw Cosmo Canyon. Cosmo Canyon will be the final fight. He'll be over Cosmo Canyon. Okay, so where's the first one? Towards Midgar? There is uh, above Junon Crater. These these are all potential places he could be. There's one. There he is. Cool. Four times cut. Mine. Fuck it, I'm out. Okay. We might not actually find out. <laughs> Alright, part two. Okay. You can follow him. Yeah. Can I catch up to him? Oh. Fuck, what energy. Damn, you think I'm just gonna give up? Where you going, buddy? Come back here. Stop being a little bitch. Let's see. He can go above Mount Nebel, Mount uh, about above Medeal. Looks like he's going towards Mount Nebel. Nope. He's going to North Crater. Oh, okay. You be you, buddy. Ramming it, ramming into it with the high wind will eventually cause it to fly straight towards a particular location. Stop. Okay, so just keep hitting him. Well, he's got, he'll eventually go to a place if you keep hitting him, but just continuously running into him is just going to loop him. kill him before you get a chance to do it. There he goes. It's all the counters. That's fine. Whatever. I really don't need all three of them to do four times, but that would be great if they could. Oh. Keep look for him because he's flying away. No, he's he just fucking gone. Alright, so where's next? 
Uh, check Medeal. Which is... This away. How many times do we fight him before the final fight? I don't know. So I feel like it's only three. So if he's not by Medeal, we'll go to... Uh... This isn't it. Is it the... Oh no, Medeal's down in the bottom, bottom right corner, isn't it? Well, I'm just saying Medeal is one of the options. Okay. We'll check down here, and if he's not down here, Cosmo Canyon. You said that was the final fight. Yeah. Yeah, that's Medeal. Okay. Cosmo Canyon. You can check Midgar and uh, Fort Condor while you're passing by. Fort Condor. Fort Condor, he's not here. Um, Midgar. Alright, Fort Condor, here we come. I don't see him at Gungaga either, so... You mean uh, Cosmo Canyon? Yeah. That place. Let's go! Four times cut. Mime. Ultima Beam! Four times cut. No. Uh, yeah, Witty needs to get the kill if we get it. Oh, Witty got the kill. Alright. Nailed it. She learned it. Did she? Yeah. And she died? She did the little spin. Okay. Okay. Just double check that material. Yeah. I think I saw it. Yep. Yep, it's in there. Yep. Yep, cool. Awesome. Yeah, you can just put it back on him. What did I take off for that? Mime. Nothing? Mime? Okay. Cool. So anyway... I used revive on myself. <laughs> did I equip it? No. I probably did not. Nice. It's that one that's not finished on the top. Luck plus. Oh, preemptive. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. No. Go on. Okay, so we got all that. Did I even equip... I don't think I even put the lunar moon on him. Oh, they did. Okay, so everyone's got their ultimate weapons. Um, Was there something else to do? Just the other weapons, which we don't really want to do. Alright, then let's go over here. Touchdown. Get off the chocobo and save. How big's the northern cave? Are we looking at two episodes worth of content? Oh, it's long. Oh, it is long. Okay. I want you to read this. We'll end the episode, but I want you to just scroll through this shit where it goes into... 
Well, there's two split paths, and if you send so-and-so down this path, you get a specific item. And it's just like, oh, I'm not, I haven't read it all, but it's like, ugh. Alright, we'll see ya.